Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Kit Preview plugin. Now, this is a fantastic plugin with a ton of features, uh, including previewing kits, buying kits, changing kits with an easy GUI, and using crate keys uh, to purchase kits. So, first of all, we are going to have a look at the commands, show you how this works with the beacons, it's a very awesome feature, and then look at the config file at the end. So, let's go ahead and do forward slash kp, and that will show us all of the commands. kp help to obviously shows the second page. And first of all, let's go ahead and do forward slash pk followed by a kit name. So, what this will do is give you a preview of the kit, and what you can do, you can buy it now if you want to. So, let's exit out of that and do forward slash kits. This will give you a, an overview of all the different kits. Left click to preview, right click to buy. Um, so we can literally just right click this and it will cost us $10, but we actually get $1,000 as well because that's in the kit. The next thing we can do is forward slash KP edit and then a kit name, so tools. And this will bring up a big GUI with lots of different options. So up at the top, it says the name and the permissions. In the middle, you can put as many items as you want for the kit. So once you've done that, you can click Save Changes, and that will save all of these items in the kit. Down here, you can change the selling options, so whether it's for sale or not. And there are two options here. So you can either have a price, which players can buy in-game, or you can link it to a website such as Bycraft and have players buy it on there. However, you cannot have these at the same time, so pick whichever one you want, such as the price, and then obviously type the price in chat, and that will change it here. The final one is a toggle delay, so if you have essentials, you can set a delay of, I don't know, a day, a week, um, so players can't keep buying it. Let's go ahead and go back to the key options. Now, this is a really cool feature. So there are a couple of keys here. So the regular key will allow a player to get some items from the kit, but not all of them. So you can change the reward here for the regular key uh, to four items instead of nine, or how, however many there is. The ultra key will just give you all of the items. Um, so let's go ahead and give ourselves one of these, go back, and the GUI options. So in here you can change the title, uh, which is awesome. You can change the display item um, to the one in your hand by right clicking and left clicking. And you can blacklist this so players won't see it if they can't obtain it. Let's go back and go into add command. So this is a really awesome feature. It allows you to add any command you want to a particular kit, so you can do um, I don't know, an economy command, a rank up command or something. Uh, so let's just go with say hello. And um, that will be that. Make sure you don't put the forward slash as it adds it automatically. Uh, but once you've done that, click save and then you can exit. Now here we have a few features. So you can either link it to a beacon or a, uh, a sign. So let's go ahead and use this key on the beacon and that will give us the kit. So as you can see, it's given us all of the new items. It's given us $1,000 and the server has said hello to us. So if you want to do this, what you need to do is obviously pop down a beacon or a sign. You can write anything on your sign, so anything kit hello. And you can even use format codes and whatnot. And you can do the forward slash kp set command followed by the kit name, so tools and tools again on the signpost. Now as you can see, hello, well, I don't know what he's doing. Um, the, it doesn't have any of these features. So if you shift and right click, you can change the kit type from normal to create to daily. And then the decor options, which is one you want, you can enable holograms like that. You can enable particle effects like that. And you can toggle display items. Now what this will do is shuffle through all of the different items, giving people an idea of what will be inside the kit. Or you can set a single display item by right clicking this, obviously. So let's go ahead and exit out of that and go to Edit Kit, and then we can go back to this screen if we want to. So that is how you make it look like that, which looks fantastic. Obviously, you can do the same with the sign, um, but you don't have to. You can just make it look however you want. So uh, once you've done that, you can start using keys on this and allow players to buy kits and keys and whatnot. So that's really awesome that you can do that. If you do forward slash KP settings, uh, there are a few settings in here that you can change. So um, whether kits are free if you have the correct permission, uh, the different color types of glasses, uh, whether you have rainbow glass or not, the sound, uh, whether you want to enable or disable sound, it's pretty simple. You just click um, to turn it on and off. And um, yeah, it's 
pretty straightforward. You can go to the next page if there were more settings, but there aren't. And I think that is pretty much everything in game. Obviously, you can do forward slash KP remove if you don't want it on the signpost anymore. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files. So there isn't too much in here really. There is the language file, and as the name would suggest, uh, you can change all of the uh, different text messages that you will see with different color codes and format codes. But I think it looks pretty nice how it is, so you don't need to edit that. Settings definition, this is helpful to understand what all the settings mean uh, in game. And if we go in here, it will tell you what all of them mean if you need help, which is a useful file. And finally, the config file. This saves uh, quite a lot of data about your um, everything that you've set up in game. And down here we have um, different types of glass, uh, how much it costs to buy, etc. And the key reward uh, for the firework kit. So that is everything that you can do out of the game. There isn't too much, as I mentioned, it's all pretty much set up in-game. If you want to download this plugin, there will be a link in the description as always. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want to check me out, I'll be in the description as well. But that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.